In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil Barbershop de los Muertos 3 and the Apollo Light Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And man, we have a good one for you today because I am blown away by Eminem. That's Murphy and McNeil. BDLM3, which is the third part of a trilogy. And the trilogy is amazing. I tell you, the scent on this is just fantastic. And I'm going to put the notes for you on the screen right there and i'm going to tell you if these notes don't look good to you ignore it because this <laughs> is phenomenal i love it i did a live unboxing with it the other day and i loved it and i've lathered it up now and it's even more amazing i'm going to show you a picture of the lather right there super creamy goodness and this will be releasing on 12 december at uh, 10, 10 a.m excuse me eastern time 9 central at murphy and mcneil and wow what a scent. I truly am blown away. Murphy and McNeil at the end of the year here have sort of come off the top rope with a chair and just bashed the competition. <laughs> and Jim Ross is in the back going, don't do this. Don't do this. Murphy and McNeil. Bam. And this is just such a strong, wonderful scent. And it's based on a cologne, which I showed you in the notes there. I don't even care about it because it's just simply awesome. I don't know what the price will be. This was sent to me by Murphy and McNeil. Uh, to preview and man oh man I am a fan so I'm going to tell you right now would I purchase this with my own money yes you better believe I would because this is just amazing and the BDLM trilogy all three of them were absolutely amazing this will definitely be one of my favorite scents of 2021 there is absolutely no question it is just phenomenal if you look at the soap this is in the Kodiak base which is much heralded I'll put the ingredients there on the screen for you, for me, I think Murphy and you know, all their bases are very, very good. So whether it's Kodiak, Aeon, or even some of the other ones they might have, they're all good. It's an amazing soap. They have great customer service. There is really nothing not to like from Murphy and McNeil. It's just an excellent company. And this was a collaboration. We had um, John Perry uh, and his, his logo is the firefighter right there. And then we had Chicano Designs and Murphy and McNeil. And what an amazing job Chicano Designs did on the artwork. I'm just really, really enthusiastic about this release because it smells great. <laughs> and so that, that is just awesome. Okay, let's talk about the razor just a bit. Oh, this is not the star of the show. This is the Apollo Light Razor from Smart Helix. Yesterday, I used the more efficient plate, which has two lines. And today, I'm using the one line, the less efficient plate. And I'm going to load a blade in here. Man, I'm telling you what, the scent is just wafting all over the place in here, and it is fantastic. There's a look at the plate, which is very low profile. And one of the things I really enjoyed about this razor yesterday was when I set the blade on there, it just sets on there perfectly flat. And that blade is wet because I try to sort of wash some of that glue off of there because there was a lot of glue on this feather blade. It is a brand new blade. And I love the way that blade just sits perfectly flat in this razor. You don't have to struggle to get it in there. It just sits in there perfectly and you put it together and we will be ready to go with our Polo Light. Yesterday I had an amazing shave with this razor with the two line plate, which is the more efficient. And today we're gonna use the one line plate and this is a really good looking razor, low profile, um, stainless steel. It's out of the Ukraine and the single razor by itself with one plate is $175. And uh, I tell you what, looking forward to using it again today. Today has the makings of an incredible shave and experience so we're really really excited this is just plain water here and we're just misting our face instead of splashing water all over the place just misting the face directly and the lather on this like i mentioned before was amazing today's brush is the dark sanctum uh ronin x brush and man oh man as i'm mixing this up because it's been sitting for a little bit oh it's amazing and the lather quality fantastic great hydration in it the kodiak bakes is phenomenal but like I said before, I think Aeon's really good too. I think Aeon is quite underrated. 
In my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, a lot of people will disagree. I think exotic ingredients in, in soaps really attract people. And sometimes the more exotic ingredients, the more people like it. Um, I don't know if the benefits are, are real or if it's placebo effect. I don't know. I just know for in my own case, I'll use the Aeon base all day long. I love Kodiak too. Both are phenomenal. Both lather really well. And so if you can't get this in Kodiak, because what happens is typically Murphy and McNeil will release one of their big releases in Kodiak first, and they only have a limited supply of um, bare tallow, and then they'll release it later in Aeon. And I'm going to tell you, I think the Aeon base is very good too. So whichever you choose and whichever you prefer, no problem. It's going to lather well, and this soap smells amazing. What a fantastic trilogy, the BDLM series has been. It, it, it's just phenomenal. And they put together three amazing, amazing scents. John Perry, Chicano Designs, and Bill at Murphy and McNeil, just phenomenal. And so this, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. And when I lathered this up, I was like, holy cow, this is good. All right, and that feels fantastic, the razor. Even with the one plate there, feeling really nice, really smooth, and that soap is really, really slick and nice. It's a really excellent. And this is just one of those shades where this, the scent is just, oh man, it's making my day. So I'm gonna tell you, when, when this soap rolls around on 12 December, <laughs> uh, my, my advice is, if you look at the notes and you see like rhubarb, rum, geranium, patchouli, cedar, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm feeling it, vetiver, I think it's much better than those notes might indicate. And by the way, I have a little mark there, so if that opens up, it's not the razor nor me. We're just sort of opening up that bump that's been there for a while. But I tell you what, this one is excellent, and John Perry has done a great job in selecting the scents for the trilogies, or at least I think he selected the scents. And if you didn't, John, I apologize. But fantastic. And this immediately goes into my top scents of 2021. Like I said before, Murphy and McNeil just came off the top rope with a chair and just bludgeoned the competition at the end of the year, once again this year, because I believe they did it last year with BDLM2, which was incredible. Uh, actually, BDLM and BDLM2. Um, and this year it's BDLM3, and, and it's just it's just phenomenal. Oh man, that is smooth too. What a smooth shape. Great, call, great quality slope. So I can't even speak. <laughs> Great quality soap. Uh, what fun it is to use something like this. Great quality soap. Uh, very, very slick. And of course, you know, if you lather any soap properly these days, it's going to be nice and slick. So we don't worry too much about the bases. Far more focus should be in how you lather your products and how you use your equipment. Not so much in the fancy ingredients, in my opinion. But this one, it really is good. There's no denying that Kodiak is fantastic. But I think Murphy and McNeil's other offerings are fantastic too. So if you can't get the Kodiak and you miss out early on, um, the Aeon is really good too. And I can make an excellent lather with Aeon, uh, Aeon excuse me, more tongue twisted today than usual because as my excitement level goes up, my speech level decreases or ability to <laughs> speak. So pretty excited about this one today. So I'm telling you, yeah. I would definitely buy this one, no question. And I'm very grateful that Murphy and McNeil and John uh, sent this to me to check out. And it's going to get a lot of hype now. I'm telling you folks. And the reason it's going to get a lot of hype is because it's good. <laughs> so, yes, some people will come along and go, oh, it's got a lot of hype because of YouTube and all that. It's because it's good. It smells fantastic. Unusual scent to my nose too. It's, this is nothing that I've ever experienced before. Um, I know it's based on a fragrance, but I have not experienced that fragrance. And this, in terms of uh, traditional shaving, I've never smelled anything like this. So it's a very, very pleasant experience for me getting something entirely new to my nose. Um, it's really, really awesome. And the soap quality is first rate as well. And so it, it just really has the makings of a phenomenal shave and, and I would call this, if, if I were to sum this up in one word, phenomenal. Fantastic. Now, if you were to ask me which one is my favorite between 
the uh, BDLM soaps. Um, I think I think I would go BDLM one as number one. This one is number two, and BDLM two is number three. But all three are amazing. It is the greatest trilogy in traditional shaving in terms of sense. Um, and we've we've seen uh, I don't know how many trilogies are out there, but the one that stands out to me is. Uh, Years ago, like coming up on 10 years ago now, or maybe nine, Razor Rock brought out um, X, Double X, and Triple X, which were all inspired by Aqua de, Palma, Aqua de Parma scents, and that was a great trilogy. And those scents are still amazing, don't get me wrong. But this one is, is a fantastic trilogy as well, and probably the best trilogy. Um, that I'm aware of in traditional shaving, but I'm not aware that there's many, but I think this concept by John Perry and Murphy and McNeil, these trilogies, I think it's excellent. And honestly, um, I hope you guys don't stop here with BDLM because this is said to be the last one, at least for a while. So they haven't entirely slammed the door shut, but they've mostly shut it. And I'm saying, John, keep this one alive. This is worthy. I hope to see one next year. <laughs> another installment. I know they said this is probably the last one for a while, but this is so good that I think it's worthy of keeping. And folks, I'm going to tell you, if you like this scent as much as I do, and you like this series and trilogy as much as I do, reach out to Murphy and McNeil and tell them, please keep BDLM alive. Give us something next year. Um, post it on social media. You know, we want more of this BDLM because it is fan. Fantastic. And, you know, I don't want to see it end, you know, like all good things, like when you're watching a great movie, you're like, oh man, this is riveting. I don't want it to end. That's what it is for me and BDLM the series. Oh man, that's fantastic. So nice. So smooth. The razor, the soap. And I know I'm not talking much about the razor dye. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm exceptionally tongue twisted. <laughs> I talk faster. I'm more excited. I'm just super excited today. But anyway, um, I'm not talking a ton about the razor day because the star today is this BDLM and I don't want this to come to an end. <laughs> so if you feel the same way, please reach out to John, reach out to uh, uh, Bill from Murphy McNeil, reach out to Rafa at Chicano Designs who does amazing artwork and say, hey, keep this alive. Keep this alive. This is something that I think should be continued for the benefit of all. <laughs> It is amazing. Oh man, it's a lot of fun when you get something really unusual. And this scent to my nose is just really unusual. The notes are unusual. And honestly, if I were to have looked at these notes, I would have went, mm, I don't know about this, but the way the scent comes together, it's amazing. And it is an absolute winner. And as I said before, in my best sense of 2021 in shaving, It'll be in that list. You can guarantee that. That top 10 or whatever list will be coming um, this holiday season, Christmas, New Year, something like that. Um, wow. What a scent. And what a soap, too. The quality is fantastic. It is really slick. Uh, let me go ahead and lather up for the cross pass. Sorry for my stomach growling there. I'm just a mess today. <laughs> but it's in a good way because this is fantastic. And I'm very excited. This to me is one of those scents like when I smelled um, sea spice lime or droid black when they recreated Floyd. I'm like, wow, this is phenomenal. So this is one that is just really a joy to use. And so I really hope this uh, trilogy will live on because it deserves to. It has earned its place, <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe they'll do another trilogy of some sort, you know? But uh, this one is fantastic. So I hope this will stay around because I'm kind of attached to it at this point. You know, you, you sort of develop an emotional attachment to these. <laughs> so as silly as that might sound, this one is just fantastic. And the quality of that soap is fantastic. And this razor is so smooth. I didn't talk hardly at all about the razor today. Don't worry. I'll be taking it with me when I travel soon. And I'll be talking a lot more about it. It's really a smooth shaver. I am impressed. And so I answered the question yesterday with this razor. It was sent to me, of course, by uh, Smart Helix, 
This is the Apollo light. Would I buy this with my own money? Yes, I would because it is smooth. It is nice. I prefer the uh, two line plate because I like more efficiency and blade feel. But this one has done a phenomenal job today. Let me tell you, there is plenty of residual slickness on this um, Kodiak base here. It is really good. There's just no question about it. It just feels phenomenal. And the scent is quite stout. I didn't think, I don't think I talked about a scent strength. Um, the scent is quite stout. It, it is at least medium high towards high. So you're going to, you're not going to have to go searching for the scent on this one. Just amazing. Oh man, exceptional <laughs> scent and shave today. Let me rinse, then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to move the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, reapers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber uh, and Aloe, which is really good stuff. I had an exceptional shave today, folks, with Murphy and McNeil, Barbershop de los Muertos. This is three. The third in the trilogy is just phenomenal. All three soaps in this trilogy are amazing. I don't want it to end. So, folks, please, if you buy this and you find that you enjoyed it, make sure that you reach out to John Ferry, you reach out to Bill at Murphy and McNeil, Rafa, and say, hey, don't end this series. This is such an amazing uh, series of soaps. I just, I can't get enough of it. It is fantastic. All three were amazing. And this goes on sale 12 December at 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 uh, a.m. Central. Fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I also love today the Apollo Light Razor, although I didn't talk much about it. We'll talk more about it in the future. Even if the, with the one line plate, it was a nice smooth shave with the feather blade. I enjoyed that a lot. We used our Ronin X brush from Dark Sanctum, and it's running in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl. I'm going to close it out today with the Murphy and McNeil BDLM3 splash, which is going to smell amazing, and I'm going to be smelling amazing for a good long while. So I hope you all have a great day today. And man, if this one sounds good to you, pick it up when it comes out because I think it's truly special. It's a really special release. All three in this trilogy are must-have in my opinion. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.